Tony Babauta spent the week meeting with lawmakers, the Camacho administration and local military officials on the build-up plans, and that will be one of the big issues that he'll present when he returns to Washington. We go back to D.C. and we attack what we have been attacking and, and we pursue what we have been pursuing, um, which is, uh, you know, the being able to address the civilian concerns of, uh, of the people of Guam and of Guam's leaders on the uh, impact that will occur because of the Guam military buildup and trying to uh, coordinate uh, fe a federal uh, response of, of resources um, uh, to the civilian community. That's really the top concern. One issue dealing with the buildup that Babauta has been keeping close tabs on is the amendment introduced by Congressman Neil Abercrombie, which seeks to apply Hawaii wages to jobs dealing with the Guam buildup. The amendment has caught the ire of Guam officials, and the assistant secretary says it's not widely supported by others in the White House either. The position of the administration is, uh, uh, I think, that they are opposed to the, uh, to the Abercrombie Amendment. Mm. In his new position, Babauta oversees all U.S. territories, including the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. And one issue they'll be dealing with in the very near future is the federalization of the CNMI immigration. Congress has given the administration a date. Mm -hmm. Um, the date was extended once, uh, and the new date is November 28th, um, and uh, the administration is uh, committed to ensure that uh, on November 28th that uh, uh, the DHS and all the immigration services uh, will apply the CNMI. That's the mandate that Congress gave us. That's the date that we're working with. Babauta was expected to leave to the NMI this afternoon. However, that visit was called off with new plans to head to American Samoa, which underwent a severe earthquake in several subsequent tsunamis. Unfortunately, I had to delay my, uh, my planned travel uh, to the CNMI, uh, which was supposed to be this afternoon, uh, because of the tragedy that happened in American Samoa uh, with the earthquake and uh, the tsunamis that have, hit the, that have hit the island and the devastation it caused, both uh, property devastation and loss of life. Babauta says he'll be working with the Federal Emergency Management Office and the government of American Samoa to ensure that the area gets what it needs to deal with the emergency. He's also spoken with the governor of American Samoa, who was at the time in Hawaii. I expressed to him on behalf of the president and the secretary and myself and our entire department uh, our condolences and that our prayers are, are with him and his people.